We're going to solve this system now with our calculator. And we're going to solve the system with a method of using row operations. Um, this is the system that we're trying to solve. And there it is on our calculator. And we need to be very organized. And the lovely thing about the calculator is that it can help you stay very organized and it makes absolutely no arithmetical mistakes because this process is filled with possibility for silly arithmetical error. If at all possible, you want a 1 in this first position up here. Um, and in order to get that, we're gonna, we can swap row 3 with row 1. Okay, where to get all that stuff from? So I'm going to go second and matrix to go to my matrix menu. I'm going to choose matrix math. Then I slide down. And let me show you something. This is C if I slide all the way down. If I go back to my matrix math menu uh, and s choose the up arrow, then you'll see it's right there, not very far away. So you can scroll up instead of scrolling down and get there faster. So we're going to do a row swap. Now the format for a row swap is to first name the matrix. Go to the matrix menu. Names is our first option. We want to name matrix A. And then we put a comma in between the pieces of argument that is needed in our command. Each one of these pieces is an argument. So the first argument is naming the matrix. The second argument is naming the row that you want to swap. We want to swap row 1 and we want to swap row 3. And close the parenthesis, press enter. Here's our new matrix. Now, you're not quite done yet. That matrix is on your home screen, but it's not in matrix A. So in order to save it to matrix A, we will store it. Press the store button, then choose the matrix. Matrix A is our is by default chosen. Press enter, then press it's asking you, do you want to save this answer into matrix A? And you get here and then you say yes by pressing enter. Now it is stored in matrix A. So row swap is the first operation we need to solve a system of equations.